Now you don't um, need to always create a circle to start your array. But because we wanted to do a polar array, we want to locate a center of a circle. Um, so let's do another array and let's start with a circle. And we're going to drag and type in an exact radius of eight. And we wanted to uh, put a square all around this circle going around. So we're going to do a square. And we're going to start here and do a one by one. One tab, one enter. Okay. Oh, that's too small. So let's erase that and make a bigger one. And this time we're going to do a three by three. So three tab, three enter. There you go. You want to put the circle somewhere here, okay? And we're going to just simply move this circle. And we want to get the middle of the midpoint of this one. So press enter, uh, press enter. And then we want to make sure that our object snap midpoint is checked. So we're going to check midpoint, okay? And another snap that we want to use right now is called the quadrant. Quadrant is the four points on the side of a circle, so click that also. So we're going to hold it from the midpoint because midpoint is on, and we're going to put that on the quadrant. So there are four quadrants of a circle one, two, three, and four. Okay, so if you want it exactly in the quadrant, you click on this one. Now you don't need to always start from the bottom, you can always also start from the top if that's what you want. Okay, so to start from the top, you simply click move, enter. You want to hold it at the midpoint again, so make sure that your object snap midpoint is on, and your you want to put it on the quadrant, so make sure that they're on. So we're going to touch it from the bottom midpoint, and then we're going to put it on the top quadrant over here. Okay, and then we're going to array that. So over here and uh, draw array. We're going to select the square, and then we're going to. And we're going to do a polar array. Okay. And then the um, axis of rotation or the center point basically is the center here. Okay. So again, you make sure that there's center check so that you can simply point to the center. Okay. And then you have uh, immediately your six, but you want to change the number of items. Okay. And let's say you want 12, so you put 12 and then press enter. There's 12. If I put more than 12, it's going to touch each other. So, for example, if I type in 14, you'll see that they're going to, oh, 14 will fit. Okay. How about 16? Will 16 fit? 16 will fit some more. Uh, how about 18? 18 will fit. 18 barely. Oh, now they overlap. So I can't fit 18, only 16. Uh, and maybe I can fit 17. So let's see. 17, I can't fit 18. Press enter. And then I inspect. Uh, they still overlap here. So let's go back to 16. So number of items, 16. Press enter. And then nothing overlaps. Very good. Okay. So I just click exit or press enter. And done, and then I can now erase that circle. Erase and then erase that circle. Okay, so make sure that your object snaps um, quadrant, four quadrants of a circle, and then midpoint, middle of a line. Okay, or middle of an arc would work too. So that's uh, another polar array. Now you can array lines, objects, squares. Okay, you can even uh, array uh, text. Okay, so if you wanted to do text, um, you can simply or annotate a text with text and then uh, assign the text or click here and then go down like this. And then you can see now the box is not all the way to the right because now we're since we're putting in measurements. Uh, and it fits your three, then um, it now is proportional. So let's put in letter A, and then we're gonna check. Okay, and then let's say that you want uh, this A to go around again a circle. 
So we're going to do another circle. Let's say you want a radius now of 5 enter. Okay, oh, that's too small. So we have a circle with a radius of um, 10, no, maybe 15. 15 enter. There you go. And we want to start again uh, this uh, A uh, somewhere here. So we're going to do a move. We'll click that. And then uh, you can, you don't need to do off snaps this time. You can just uh, point to this one. Um, let's just be precise. So when I click on this one on the letter A and I look at my properties here, you can see that this is justified top left. That means that there, the grip is on the top left of the letter. So if I pull this down, if I wanted the grip to be in the middle end and center, like with middle center, and you can see now that the grip is here. So I can now click on that grip and that's on the center. So I can, uh, I can also move it by clicking on this grip and then putting it on the quadrant. Okay, so now I'm putting it exactly on that circle, not in the bottom, not on the um, edge or whatever, put it in the center. And then I'm going to do my array. So I did select that first. So I can select something first and then go to draw an array. And then uh, I can just do a, a polar array immediately. And then the axis or the set, uh, center is the center here. And then immediately have my six points. And then I will type in, um, let's say, uh, 20. 20, press enter. Okay, there you go. Uh, you may want it to put in more. Uh, and let's say 22. Press enter. Yeah, looks still okay. I think I can go with 26. 26, enter. Yeah, 26 looks okay. All right. Uh, We'll try 27 or 28, 28, press enter. Yeah, I think 28 is still okay. Then I click enter to stop. Okay, next, uh, we know that this uh, this uh, text is, uh, or the objects created by an ar array is selected as a group, right? Selected as a group, okay? So if you wanted to change each letter, you need to explode that first. So select the array and explode. Now you can uh, change this each one. So if I wanted to put in my last name, I double click and then simply backspace and put M. Put check, double click, and then put I and put check. And then double click and then start type in L. Double click. Type in another L. Double click. Type in E now. And then double click. Type in N. Don't move it, just double click it so you can change. Backspace D, check. Double click. Okay. Backspace E, check. And then backspace C. Okay. Now, if I wanted to leave a space, I could simply click this and then press delete. You're deleting that one. And then you can start again and put in your next word. And then make your next word or next letter. And the rest that you don't need, you can just simply delete. Okay. And then you simply delete. Okay. And then what you wanted to do is you wanted to now rotate that so it's uh, neat. So you're going to do a rotate modify and you're going to do a rotate and then select everything. Press enter. Make sure you can click the center and then you simply now 
rotate that so you can see your name. Right. Melendez Allen. Okay, you can now erase the circle. And that's how you can array letters and arrange them uh, around a circle. Okay, so let's try that.